Welcome to the University of Embu. University of Embu is located approximately 130 kilometers northeast of Kenya's capital, Nairobi, and 3 kilometers from Embu town along the Embu Meru Highway. To get to Embu from Nairobi, you take the thicker superhighway and drive along the Nairobi Nyeri Highway up to Sagana or Makutano Junction, then turn right at the Makutano Junction. On your way, you pass through the lush green rice fields of Moya and breathtaking sceneries around the Mount Kenya region. The journey from Nairobi to Embu will take you about two and a half hours. The university is set on the southeastern slopes of Mount Kenya, the highest mountain in Kenya and the second highest in Africa. This exclusive location boasts of an attractive scenic topography and tropical climate. The weather is very friendly with lush green vegetation, plenty of water springs from rivers originating from Mount Kenya and has plenty of food throughout the year. The institution was established in 1947 as a government training institute to provide retooling for agricultural officers and training in agricultural extension. In 2011, the institution, then known as Embu Agricultural Staff Training, or rather EAST College, was elevated to a constituent college of the University of Nairobi and renamed Embu University College, or rather EUC. On 7th October 2016, Embu University College was granted a charter by His Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya and became a fully-fledged independent university. The institution was then renamed University of Embu, a public university located in Embu County. The mission of the University of Embu is to generate, advance, and disseminate knowledge through training, research and innovation for the development of humanity. Our vision is to be a dynamic epicenter of excellence in training and research for service to humanity. Since its establishment, the university has held four graduation ceremonies. The first one in 2016 was presided over by the University of Nairobi Chancellor, Dr. Mrs. Vijo Ratansi. The second, third and fourth graduation ceremonies were held in 2017, 2018 and 2019 respectively and have been presided over by the Chancellor of the University of Embu, Professor Paul Musili Wambua. So far, the university has graduated over 1,500 well-trained and skilled graduates in various fields who have taken up various responsibilities and leadership roles in the society both nationally and internationally. As you approach the university along the Embu Meru Road, you will see the magnificent, visibly branded Grand Entrance Security Checkpoint. Upon clearance at the gate, you join the main road to the university which is lined with beautiful flowers. This road leads you to the six-story architectural masterpiece. This ultra-modern masterpiece houses the university's administration and management offices, which include admissions, finance, ICT, chaplaincy and counseling offices, among other offices, offering various university functions. Dear students, I am pleased to welcome you, our new student, as well as our prospective student to the University of Embu. We thank you for choosing the University of Embu as your partner in your career progression. I also want to congratulate you for this fantastic accomplishment. Even with all the challenges that we are currently facing around the world, it is my hope that you are celebrating your university and the nation. We must, in the same vein, thank your parents, guardians, sponsors, and your families who have dedicated so much time and effort to your lives. Each and every one of these family members now becomes a valued member of the University of Empire community, and I extend a warm hand of welcome to them as well. Our motto at the University of Embu is knowledge transforms. I want to assure you that we are well prepared for you. Our dedicated staff and the fellow students are all here to support you. Our student-centered curriculum is designed to help you develop both socially and professionally, while at the same time gaining knowledge and practical experience to navigate and succeed in your chosen careers. On the coronavirus situation, 
I wish to state that we take the safety and the well-being of our students to be of utmost importance. In this regard, we have made elaborate arrangements to ensure that we have put in place the necessary facilities to mitigate against the spread of COVID-19 and to protect our staff and students from the pandemic when the university resumes for face-to-face -face learning. Once again, welcome to the university and I wish all of you the best. Thank you. The University of Embu has grown in leaps and bounds from its humble beginnings. From the pioneer 123 students, the student population currently stands at over 7,000 enrolled in six schools, offering a rich menu of academic programs at certificate, diploma, bachelor's, master's, and doctoral level. The six schools include School of Agriculture, School of Pure and Applied Sciences, School of Business and Economics, School of Nursing, School of Education and Social Sciences, and the School of Law. The university has a strong workforce of over 400 highly qualified, experienced, and committed teaching and non-teaching staff. 90% of our teaching staff have PhDs. Our community of scholars, researchers, administrators, and staff are all dedicated to supporting students and advancing the mission of the University of Embu and contributing to national development. Adjacent to the administration block is the ultra-modern library named after the former Vice-Chancellor of the University of Nairobi and the current Cabinet Secretary of Education, Professor George Magoha, in recognition of his selfless and outstanding contribution to the establishment and growth of the University of Embu. The library boasts of a large collection of academic resources. The unlimited access to Wi-Fi has also enabled subscription to over 1 million online electronic resources and many academic e-resources like e-books and e-journals for both staff and students. It also hosts the university's repository. Students and staff can remotely access learning materials from anywhere in the world. The University of Embu recognizes the need to continuously invest in improving our teaching and learning facilities to meet the needs of our students. The lecture halls, resource rooms, laboratories, and the entire learning environment is fully equipped with the latest ICT and audiovisual equipment, as well as internet connectivity to provide a great experience for all our students. Some of the key learning facilities in the university include Chatter Hall, CH, Tentatorium Hall, TH, Learning Center, LC, and the Tuition Block, or TV, among others. Students can also access our three well-equipped computer labs connected to our elaborate ICT network infrastructure. The university also boasts of ultra-modern nursing and science labs which provide our students with a great opportunity to sharpen their practical skills. We recognize that flourishing at university is determined as much by our personal and social well-being as it is by your academic success. We encourage you to take advantage of the whole array of services and resources provided by the university to broaden your horizon. The University Health Unit provides timely diagnostic, curative, and preventative medical services to both students and members of staff. The fully equipped health unit registered with NHIF and the well-stocked pharmacy help to ensure that students and staff are in optimal health. In order to ensure our students' well-being at every stage of their path through university, we believe in the value of helping them strike a balance between academic obligation and their personal and social well-being, hence the counseling and mentorship programs. These services promote and facilitate holistic students' growth and development through close interaction with students. The university also provides an array of sports and games programs for all students and staff, including board games, indoor and outdoor games such as hockey, volleyball, football, swimming, basketball, netball, baseball, tennis, rugby, athletics, etc., etc. The students also participate in various sports association championships for men and women in the Kenya University Sports Association's championships, in which are Scrabble, basketball, volleyball, hockey, football, rugby, and athletic teams, among others, have won in numerous trophies. To help the students harness their sports talent and boost the university capacity to host major sporting competitions in the country, the university has recently completed the construction of the new 400-meter Olympic Standard Athletics Track. 
As the adage goes, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. The University of Embu holds a variety of entertainment events from time to time to keep students entertained and relaxed. The most popular being the annual cultural festival, popularly known as Culfest. The major gig is held in February each year. The event gives the students the opportunity to showcase their talents and creativity in music, theater arts, poetry, comedy, and dance. The climax of the event is the crowning of Mr. and Miss University of Embu. The Calfest event also brings together guest artists and renowned artists in the entertainment industry to share the stage with our talented students. As a result, the university has produced several renowned artists who are shining at the national entertainment arena. Other events are Leaders Bash and Freshers Bash. There is also a vibrant student center located on campus that offers entertainment to students, especially in the evenings and over the weekends. Student accommodation in the university is organized either as on-campus or as off-campus. The campus accommodation facilities are well-maintained, comfortable, and Wi-Fi enabled to give students an opportunity for private study and access to online resources. The hostels are standalone units, each exclusively accommodating either male or female students. The common areas are fitted with flat-screen digital TVs with DSTV connection to ensure the students are entertained and updated on current affairs even as they socialize. A wide range of off-campus accommodation is also available in residential areas neighboring the university. The apartments and hostels are easily accessible and are located a walking distance from the university. The university inspects and accredits all private hostel providers to ensure that they meet the set standards. Safety and security is paramount for our non-residential students. Hence, regular and consultative meetings between the university management and private hostel owners to address any safety and security concerns, as well as ensure that agreed standards are made. The university offers a range of catering facilities for students, staff, and visitors on campus. The students enjoy tasty, affordable, and nutritious meals served at the university for resident and non-resident students. The available eating outlets are modeled on the pay-as-you-eat system. They include the main dining hall, food courts, a cafeteria, and canteens located all around the campus. The university is committed to offering spiritual nourishment to students through the chaplaincy office. Student spiritual guidance and support is available through the university chaplaincy and organized religious associations headed by patrons. The associations are registered with the university for effective coordination. Some of the associations include Christian Union, Muslim Students Organization, Young Catholic Students, and the Seventh-day Adventist. Other services include conducting worship services, organizing annual interfaith services, thanksgiving, and coordinating other spiritual activities held in the university from time to time. As a university, we strongly believe that students have a democratic right to be represented and to participate in the governance of the university. The University of Embu Students Association, known as USA, is charged with the responsibility of representing students and running student-related activities. Every year, the university conducts student elections where student leaders are elected. The university recently concluded a historic, extremely successful Students Council election, which was for the first time conducted through online voting. Students are also encouraged to form new or join existing clubs and societies to enhance their experiences while at the university via sharing with their colleagues with similar interests. The university operates a financial kitty to support bright and needy students with bursaries and scholarships to enable them to complete their studies successfully. More information about the available financial aid services can be obtained from the Office of the Deans of Students or via the university website. Research The university appreciates the importance of research in addressing societal challenges. In this regard, we are constantly exploring ways of enhancing our research capacity. We have made deliberate efforts to establish partnerships and linkages with local, regional, and international organizations geared towards establishing platforms for furthering research, training, innovation, extension, community service programs, and dissemination of knowledge. ICT. 
The university has an elaborately laid network infrastructure which provides the students and staff with long bandwidth for full-time connectivity. All offices, lecture rooms, laboratories and workshops are connected to the intranet and internet through a fiber optic backbone. In addition, there are high-speed wireless transmitters which provide staff and students with Wi-Fi connectivity all around the university 24-7. Security and safety. The security of students and the whole university community is taken very seriously. The university has a well-organized security department which is fully committed to protecting the entire university community as well as property. The security services consist of outsourced security guards backed by a well-resourced administration police team operating on 24-hour basis and very effectively coordinated by senior university security officers. The CCTV surveillance cameras installed all around the university ensure that students and staff can conduct their activities in a safe and secure environment. Firefighting equipment, smoke detectors, and hose reels have been installed at strategic locations around the university to enhance the safety among other measures for disaster preparedness. Corporate Social Responsibility the university management has taken deliberate steps to cultivate a conducive and mutually beneficial relationship with the community around campus. As such, the local community around the university is very cooperative and friendly to the members of the university community. The university organizes students to participate in various social responsibility activities, such as town cleanups, tree planting, pastoral care, counseling and mentorship, farmers training, career fairs, business opportunity sensitizations, and children's home visits, among others. Alumni Association Upon graduation, all graduates of the University of Embu automatically become members of the University of Embu Alumni Association. The association was launched in September 2018 and brings together all our graduates to participate in governance and development of their alma mater as they socialize and network. The association seeks to provide a dynamic alumni network, career support, and lifelong learning interventions to ensure our graduates succeed in their chosen careers and professions. As our alumni numbers continue to grow, our skilled and well-qualified alumni professionals can now be found in all sectors of the economy, both nationally and internationally. Ongoing and planned projects. As the university grows, it is projected that by 2028, the student population will hit 20,000, while the staff population will continue to grow proportionately as the student numbers rise. This means that the university must continue with its infrastructure development agenda so as to meet its needs in the future. The university is currently constructing the six-story tuition block complex that will have lecture facilities to accommodate over 4,000 students at one sitting. The building will have state-of-the-art lecture theaters, lecture halls, offices, boardrooms, and two large auditoriums which will provide more learning spaces for our growing numbers of students. Some of the key projects in the pipeline include Science Laboratories Complex, School of Law Complex, School of Medicine Complex, School of Engineering Complex, School of Hospitality and Hotel Management, Additional Students Hostels, and a Multipurpose Theatre Hall. I love University of Embu because it has the best lecturers who are willing to support the students to make their future bright. As lecturers, we are looking forward to welcoming our freshmen for the year 2020. We want to guarantee that when you come here, we are going to provide you with very meaningful interactions. The quality of education they get is top-notch. And our goal is to provide them with knowledge that is going to transform them to become uh, good members of the community so that they can go and serve the society. Our promise to you is that we are fully committed to producing all-round graduates. This will be accomplished by equipping you with both academic and practical skills, not only to enable you to compete fairly in the competitive job market, but also to make a positive impact in the society and to improve the quality of life of those we live and work with. When you join the University of Wembu, you are not just joining a university, you are becoming a part of a family and a community of lifelong learners. You are most welcome to Go there, go there, go there.
Nanti yang goje. Students, welcome to the 2020 matriculation ceremony for our first year students. As you can see, the academic procession led by the vice chancellor is now making its way into the boardroom where we have been hosting this uh, orientation ceremony. We are very happy that uh, you are able to join us. We can see about uh, 300 uh, of you are online at, at the moment and we are, we are hoping that more will continue joining. Festas, Felistas, Kavuda, you are saying good morning, welcome Felistas, and uh, Julius Chivasi, is there a link to access uh, this uh, matriculation ceremony? Please check uh, the link on YouTube, you can go to YouTube and uh, check the, the link that is showing University of Embu Orientation live. Thank you. I hope you can see me. Good morning. I am happy that we are, we are here today, yet another day. God has given us such a wonderful day. We are all healthy and we are happy to start the ceremony now. I will call upon Father Joseph Kiremi to lead us in a word of prayer. Thank you, Mr. Mahori for your very kind ones. I wish also to take this uh, opportunity to welcome all our first years. I'm Father Joseph Krimi. I'll be working with you on uh, your you know, spiritual journey. Together, we shall form a very, very uh, formidable team. We shall, not you, we shall not let you walk alone. And I'm sure even if we don't meet physically for now, when that time comes, we shall meet and get to know each other more. Before the prayer, let me read a Bible verse that is going to lead us throughout this ceremony. I know we have Muslims, we have uh, Christians, but all of us believe in one God. Proverbs chapter 3, 
verse 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence, rely not. And verse 6 says, In all your ways, be mindful of him, and he will, he will make straight your ways. Trust in the Lord means put, putting everything before him, enduring in faith, persevering in his love, never giving up. Challenges should not be an opportunity for us. Uh, challenges should be an opportunity for us to be more creative in life, to come with the better ways uh, to live our lives. And as students, especially first years, we are now faced with uh, the pandemic that is ravaging the world. I'm sure from where you sit, we all are praying that this may come to an end. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Heavenly God, we face situations and decisions that are occasioned by coronavirus pandemic. Gracious God, we are faced with an unprecedented situation of meeting our first year students at the University of Embu through an online encounter. Give us courage to do that which is right. May your spirit keep us balanced and that no matter how things turn out to be with you at the center of our life, we shall stand and survive throughout this pandemic. Reveal all what you want us to do to our heart. Through the wisdom of the university managers, may your will always prevail. Guided by our able lecturers and support staff, May our students always commit themselves wholeheartedly to their studies. Help us not to lose sight of you. Help us to know that in your time and not our own time, things will go back to normal. We shall, dear Lord, guided by your will, progress towards achieving academic goals to which we are being given this orientation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Then with the Father and with the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much, Reverend Father Joseph Kiremi. I would now like to call upon our Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academics, Research and Extension, Professor Kiplagat Kutut, to welcome you and introduce the, uh, the Vice Chancellor's procession present in this uh, occasion today. Our Chancellor, who I'm sure is watching this event from um, uh, somewhere within the country, the Vice Chancellor, the University of Embu, members of management and uh, members of Senate, heads of sections who are here, all staff members, our guests today, all the freshmen and women, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Mine is a simple task, but before I say a few words, allow me first to introduce the members of the Vice Chancellor's entourage. And this being a special way of doing things, we will allow each member of the entourage to pass by the podium to, to say their names and, of course, wave to our uh, distinguished guests for today, the freshmen and women. So we will start with the Deputy Vice Chancellor in charge of uh, Planning, Administration and Finance. Good morning, everyone. Um, Professor Yukeria Kenya, the Deputy Vice Chancellor for Planning, Administration, and Finance. I welcome you all to the University of Embu. Good morning, everyone, and praise the Lord. I am Reverend Dr. Mary Nkari, Coordinator, Chaplaincy Services. Good morning, our dear students and parents. 
I'm Professor Paul Girondacanio, Registrar Planning, Administration and Finance. Welcome to University of Embo. Good morning, everyone. I'm Professor Esperanza Ndege, Director, Open Distance and E-Learning. I welcome you all to the University of Embu. Morning, everyone. My name is Professor Romano Muricia, Director, Research and Extension. Welcome to the University of Embu, where knowledge transforms. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Professor Nancy Budambula, Director, Board of Postgraduate Studies. I welcome you to the University of Embu. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. Kennedy Ocharu, Dean School of Business and Economics and the Acting School, Dean School of Nursing. Welcome. Good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Johanna Campbell, the Acting Dean, School of Law, and I welcome, I welcome you all to the University of Embu. Good morning. My name is Dr. Kirema Kanata, the Director of Performance Contracting and ISO. You are welcome. Good morning. My name is Dr. Mirin Kawira, the Dean, School of Pure and Applied Sciences. Welcome to the University of Embu. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. Samuel Dirango, Dean School of Agriculture. Welcome to the University of Embu and more so to the School of Agriculture. Uh, good morning, our students. My name is uh, Dr. Siria Kagetonga, the Dean School of Education and Social Sciences. We are delighted to have you on board. Welcome to Embu. Good morning once again. Uh, I'm Father Joseph Krimi, University Chaplain. Welcome and we are happy to have you at the University of Embu. Good morning. My name is Professor Frendri Kinjoka. I'm the Dean of Student Affairs. Welcome. Good morning. I'm Mr. Moses Ogweno, the USA Chairperson. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Peter Ekai, the U.S. Secretary General. Good morning. Uh, I'm Margaret Otolo, Vice Chancellor, uh, Registrar Vice Chancellor's Office. You are welcome to the University of Embu. Good morning. My name is Professor Jackson Washira Mudengia. I'm the Registrar of Academics, Research and Extension, and welcome to the University of Embo. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You've heard that is the entourage of the Vice Chancellor for today's event. Ordinarily, we would be having a huge function where each one of you would actually have a chance to interact with all the people that are in this. Um, uh, have accompanied the VC today and also get an opportunity to even have a cup of tea with the Vice Chancellor. But these are not ordinary times and uh, we are hoping that in the coming days we'll have another chance when we can actually invite you to the university and have a chance to actually go through uh, uh, an intro introduction stage where you can actually meet all the people that you've actually met today. As I earlier said, my role today is really very simple, and this is first to welcome you all to this very auspicious occasion, which marks the formal induction of all the freshmen and women to the University of Embu, and of course to welcome the Vice Chancellor to actually um, um, formally invite you all and uh, to join the University of Embu. So, allow me. Just as the Vice Chancellor gets ready to talk to you, and also as some of the freshmen and women who may not have actually gotten ready enough to actually find somewhere to sit, look for a pen and paper, because the information that the Vice Chancellor is going to share with you is very crucial 
for your life at the University of Embu. Let me just make a few remarks as, as, as I do that. First, let me do an overview of the orientation program. I think for the last four days, we've taken you, all the freshmen and women, through a process of getting introduced to the various sections of the university, the various functions of the different sections of the university. You've gotten a chance to know your schools. You've gotten a chance to know the people that you are going to be interacting with in your four-year journey uh, through the University of Embu. So we also took the opportunity to emphasize to you the importance of this orientation program. The orientation program is really aimed at really preparing you for this four-year journey to, en to ensure that all of you will be able to go through the journey successfully. It's a short but very important journey in the sense that for the la next four years, we'll be transforming you from being high school students to being productive members of society, which means that after these four years, we'll expect you now to join the work of pla uh, place of works and start contributing in nation building. Many of you may not survive the journey, and it is for this reason that we would like to make sure that we have everybody on board for the remaining part of the journey. And that is why it was important that we go through this orientation program. So having said that, let me now perhaps mention one or two things about why we are having this engagement today. Today, as you can see from the program, is the formal welcome of all freshmen and women to the University of Embu by the Vice Chancellor. So then the question is, what then is this event? In many institutions, it is called a matriculation ceremony. It's a matriculation. So what does matriculation mean? For the freshmen and women who may not have go come across this, if we put it very simply, matriculation is the process of actually entering a university. That is what it means. That it means that is a process through which you actually enter the university. The meaning varies from one country to the other. So you'll find different meanings of the same. But in most cases, a matriculation is a ceremony at which students are formally entered into the register of a university. What is normally called in lat Latin, matricula. That is the name of the register in which all the students join in. So in this case, for uh, our case, we are formally now put bringing you into the university. And from here, henceforth, you are now members of this uh, University of Embu family. So then, what does it mean for you? that you have now been entered into the register or you have formally been inducted into the university. What it means is that from now henceforth, you can rightly claim or tell anybody that you are a member of the University of Embu community. You are a student of the University of Embu because none other than the vice chancellor will formally welcome you to the studentship. This also comes with certain responsibilities, certain expectations, and also um, certain ways of doing things that will be expected of you. It means now you have to behave like a University of Embu student. It means now that you are bound by the code of conduct that most of you signed. It means now that the regulations that you signed will bind you. That means your behavior moving forward will be subject to a lot of scrutiny. And if you do not actually comply with those expectations, then the university has a right to say that you have not done the right thing and has a right to find ways and means of sanctioning your behavior if it does not reflect very well of the university. So you really have to think very carefully about this. You have to go back to read the handbook that we shared with you so that you are sure that whatever you do, whatever you say, whatever you put across in your chat does not re re reflect poorly of you as a member of this institution. So after this induction to the university. Of course, the next steps now is the final step of preparing you for your classes. Because really what you came to the university to do is to learn. And what we are going to do is that for the next two days, we'll prepare you for your classes that are scheduled to begin on Monday. So between uh, from uh, tomorrow up to Friday, we'll teach you how to learn under these very unique circumstances that we are facing. That is using the online blended learning approach. So I urge you and I invite you to make sure that you do not miss the remaining sessions of this uh, preparation so that come Monday at 7 
in the morning, you will be ready to start your classes. So for me, I once again, thank you for being part of this discussion and wish you very well as you start your orientation program. Now, with your permission, Vice Chancellor, allow me now to introduce the Vice Chancellor before I invite him to talk to you. And let me take this opportunity to tell you a few things about our Vice Chancellor, because I guess you need to know his qualification and his work experience, because he's the most uh, competent person to take you through the four-year journey. So, a little bit about the Vice Chancellor, his academic qualification. The Vice Chancellor, Professor Daniel Mugendi Jiru, has a postdoctoral fellowship in the African Career Award, uh, uh, which was awarded by the Rockefeller Foundation. He, this he, he ha, uh, gave him the opportunity to carry out research in soil nitrogen movement in the central highlands of Kenya. Dr. Mugendi has a PhD in agroforestry. He also has a Master of Science in Crop Science, as well as a Bachelor's of Science degree in forestry from Moi University. Professor Njiru is a renowned scholar, researcher, uh, consultant in higher education leadership. He has made significant uh, contributions in the area of agroforestry research and management, as well as the development of university education in Kenya. Previously, Professor Daniel Mugendi Jiru was the Deputy Vice Chancellor in charge of Finance, Planning and Development at Kenyatta University before he joined the University of Embu to be the founding principal of uh, the former uh, Embu University uh, College, which was a constituent college of the University of Embu. So that when the university got a charter in the year 2016 to become a fully-fledged institution, Professor Daniel Mugendi Jiru was appointed the pioneer vice chancellor of the University of Empu. This is a position that he has held um, until uh, now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now my pleasure to welcome uh, Professor Daniel Mugendi Jiru, the vice chancellor of the University of Empu, to give the 2020 vice chancellor's uh, matriculation speech. Welcome, vice chancellor, sir. Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Professor Kebragat Kotut, uh, DVC, Academic Research and Extension. The Chancellor of the University of Embu, Prof Professor Paul Musiri Wambua, who is joining us live from Nairobi, the Deputy Vice Chancellors who are here with me this morning, University Management Board and the Senate members university staff and the student following this live event online, student leaders, and some of them are here with us this morning. I'm sure you have seen two of them. Our new first year students, good morning. First, I wish to extend a warm hand of welcome to our new first year students. And I really want to tell you welcome to the University of Embu. Thank you very much for choosing to join this university. We thank God for keeping you healthy and safe and for enabling you to attend this online orientation. Thank you for choosing the University of Embu to be your partner as you continue to shape your dreams and aspirations in life. Secondly, I congratulate all of you for your good performance in the 2019 KCSE um, examination and really for earning yourself an animation to this great institution of higher learning. You will be happy to know that out of 697,222 candidates who sat the 2019 KCSE, certificate, KCSE exam, only 122,000 831 candidates scored C plus and above, and therefore earned an automatic admission into different universities to pursue various degrees, degree courses. This represents only 17.6% of the 2019 candidates. It, it therefore shows just how successful and blessed you are from being among the top 
academic giants in Kenya. We are very proud of you. And for this reason, I request the staff with me here this morning to clap for you. I also request you to clap for yourself and your fellow students for this far you have come. Please clap for yourselves. We must also acknowledge and clap for your parents, guardians, and all those who supported you along this journey. I believe without their support, you may not have come this far and managed to reach where you are today. You are the ninth group of students joining the University of Embu since it opened its doors to its pioneer student in 2013. This year, we, are, we have admitted a total of 2,475 new students. Among these, 1,430 are males, while 1,045 are female. This brings the total number of students in the university during the 2020-2021 academic year to 8,435 students, up from 7,362 in 2019-2020 academic year. The students are all enrolled in uh, various programs in our six schools. It is, all, it is also worth noting that this year is, is, to, is a historic one for us at the University of Embun because the 2020 student intake represents the highest number of the first year student ever admitted since the pioneer group of 123 students who reported in in April 2013. This is an indication that our programs continue to be attractive and popular among prospective students. Dear students, let me now take this opportunity to extend my personal best wishes to you and your families for continued good health and safety in these difficult, difficult times. I would also like to express my profound gratitude to the university staff for working tirelessly and selflessly during these difficult times to make this virtual orientation of first year student a reality. We sincerely appreciate your parents and guardians for facilitating you so that we are able to follow these online proceedings through a computer, laptop, smartphone, or other media that you are using. As you are all aware, Humanity is facing one of its darkest periods in living memory. COVID-19 has adversely affected our socioeconomic activities and led to the loss of many lives, and the measures needed to fight it have turned our world upside down and adversely affected families and economies. I would like to commend you all for following the government regulations on containment of COVID-19 and for staying safe. Since the situation still remains uncertain, the university decided to hold this orientation ceremony online in order to protect you and your loved ones from exposure to this disease. Ladies and gentlemen, even the, in the midst of the crisis affecting humanity, we are proud to welcome you, our 2020 intake students from all parts of the country. You bring to the university a diversity of talents and ideas. It is my hope that the diversity you bring to the University of Wembu will help us in, one, embracing new ways of looking at things, two, inculcating a positive and intellectually stimulating attitude for personal and professional growth, three, fostering peaceful and harmonious coexistence in society, four, creating in us a, renew, a renewed sense of patriotism and nationalism. By joining the university, you have just made a big stride in your life. You have joined the community of intellectuals and professionals who are leading scholars, researchers, innovators, and world leaders. I am confident that your time at the university will be one of the most exciting phases in your life. It will be an opportunity for you to rediscover yourself and your passion, nurture your talents, and realize your full potential. Due to the challenges brought about by COVID-19 pandemic and the restrictions on public gatherings, 
and suspension of learning in all institutions, the university is unable to hold face-to-face -face or physical teaching and learning sessions at the moment. As we continue to prioritize the safety and well-being of the university community, we must also come up with new ways of supporting our students as they strive to achieve their goals during this difficult time. In this regard, the university has adopted a blended learning approach that will utilize online teaching and learning methods using different digital media tools for delivery of lectures and learning materials. I would like to inform you that this first semester of your university life will be conducted partially through our online learning portal. You will be required to follow your lessons through the e-learning mode until the situation with regard to COVID-19 improves. I am also pleased to inform you that already we have made the necessary arrangement to equip you with the knowledge and skills that you will need to use the various e-learning resources that you will be interacting with. The schedule for the training on the use of Mundo learning platform has already been communicated to all the students. Dear students, as I conclude, let me now share with you some information on the challenges that you are likely to encounter as you navigate through online teaching and learning. I would also suggest to you the interventions that you have to put in place to emerge successful. One, adopting to new ways. For some of you, switching from traditional lecture room and face-to-face -face teaching to online-based learning on being in a virtual classroom will bring an entirely new and different experience. To some of you, you may feel lost or the expectations may be confusing. Hence, you will need to adapt quickly to the new learning mode. You need to free yourself from the traditional mindset, which makes it difficult for you to adapt to new changes. You must accept the new normal and the reality of the new learning approach with an open mind and heart. You must purpose to participate fully and benefit from the learning as this will form part of your examinations and the final grading. Two, technical issues. As Kenyans, we all know that many of our people are not endowed with access to such resource resources as computers, laptops, smartphones, or tablets. Some may even have difficulties in getting bundles or bandwidth or even an internet connection, which is, requir which is a requirement for online, online, online learning. This may turn out to be frustrating because one may find it challenging to catch up with his or her fellow classes or classmates. If you encounter this sort of challenge, you will need to talk to your parents, guardians, or sponsors and find a quick solution. In some instances, you may need to move to a neighborhood with internet connection or put up with a family or relative with good internet connect connectivity. You may also organize yourselves in groups where you can meet with your classmates who live in your area and follow your lectures online. Also take advantage of the educational bundles on offer by various service providers in the telecommunications industry. Point number three, computer liter literacy. Although the current generation of students are generally take survey and are very conversant with the computers, software and the phone, uh, phone ap applications, lack of computer literacy may be a major challenge to some students. You will need some basics on how to navigate through the internet and the packages such as Microsoft, among others, which will help you handle your academic work and assignments. In other words, proficiency in the use of computers and applications is a must for you to be able to follow online classes. Four, time management. Time management can be a big challenge under online learning. Managing your personal time schedule requires a lot of personal sacrifice and discipline. You may find that some com com commitments at home or at workplace for those who, are, who may be working may interfere with your online learning schedule. Please have a regular schedule of timetable to help you 
follow your classes and assignments effectively. You could even set reminders on your phone to beep you, to beep you when, when you have online lectures, assignments, deadlines, or when learning materials have been posted. Synchronize your schedule with the university online teaching timetable that will be shared with you through the university website. Number five, self motivation and dedication. Online learning is rigorous and it requires a lot of dedication. Self -motiv motivation and personal discipline are essential skills that you need to cultivate. In addition, having a positive attitude will help you overcome perceived or real challenges in your academic work. You require a significant amount of willpower and self discipline. Sometimes you will feel discouraged, therefore, you need to find ways of encouraging yourself to keep going. During this period, understanding what self-directed learning means will be very important because you need to personally go out of your way to continue learning and growing. Specifically, you need to, one, use your own initi initiative even without the assistance of others. Two, identify your standing needs and implement appropriate standing strategies. And the three, evaluate yourself constantly to see how you are faring and where you need to improve. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, I wish to end my speech on a positive note by saying that although there are a number of challenges that confront new students in the university, you'll be surprised to know that it is fun to be in the university. Everyone who has been to a, to, to a university will tell you the same. It is a wonderful place to be in. It may be probably be the most memorable stage of your life if you are smart, organized, self-disciplined, and hardworking. I look forward to meeting you physically when you eventually come to the university for face-to-face -face lectures when the COVID-19 containment measures are lifted. When you finally report to the university, we will organize other sessions where you'll be given more information about the university, its achievements, and the plans for the future. Social and economic life and the university, at the university and what is expected of every student joining the University of Embu. Dear students, with those remarks, it is now my great pleasure to officially welcome you to the University of Embu to begin your journey of in intellectual exploration and lifelong association with the university. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you. A big hand for the Vice Chancellor for those words of wisdom. I hope, ladies and gentlemen, you have heard. You have now been welcomed to the University of Embu. You are now officially students of the University of Embu. So maybe you may want to congratulate yourselves too for being the University of Embu students for the remaining part of your academic journey, whether it is a one-year program, whether it is a four-year program, or whether it's a two-year program. What you're only missing now is an identity card to show that you are indeed a University of Embu student. But as you heard, the Vice Chancellor indicated to you that we are looking forward to having you at the university so that during that time, we'll actually interact with you and also provide you with the identity card. But please remember what I told you at the beginning, you are now officially students of the University of Embu. Everything you do will actually be considered as the action of a University of Embu student. So please do not do anything that will force us to invite you to the university so that we can actually sanction you for doing something that is not reflective of what you signed in the code of conduct. A number of questions still come, and I want to respond to a few of them very briefly. The first one is, the, is that somebody is still asking when classes begin. I think we have been emphasizing this every other day, but we'll continue emphasizing the same. 
Classes begin on Monday at 7. Of course, the question is, where will your class be? As we said, everything now is online. So your class will, be, will start wherever you are, at home. What we ask you to do is now to find a very comfortable place because you, you are going to be in class for the remaining time. So instead of using the university desk or table, now you have to get yourself one where you can hook in your computer and start getting to learn. So please be aware that the holiday is over and it is now time to learn, just the way you are learning when you are in, uh, in school. So get ready, have everything ready. Of course, uh, there are a few things that you will need to clarify to you in terms of how and when to join your classes, the actual process of joining classes. There is a training session that is starting tomorrow at 9, and that training session will take you through all what is expected of you. So I urge you not to miss that session, because it is very important. Otherwise, you will not find your class on Monday when you are supposed to be in class. Please uh, tune in to that particular presentation so that you can actually be sorted. There are still a few of you who are saying that the portal is not working. That is being sorted out. Please be in the class tomorrow. You will be explained what you need to do so that you get your portal right. But in case of anything, continue sending your, your posts. Uh, you can even send an email to admissions so that they can actually respond to you specifically on any query or any challenge that you might be facing as an individual. Some people are still asking about payment of fees. You are now officially students of the University of Embu. Please pay your fees if you have the money with you. Don't hold on to them uh, because they might actually get lost. So make your payment through any of the bank's accounts that you've been given in the handbook. And of course, uh, you can alert us when, once you have done that so that your account can be um, updated accordingly. Those of you who may not have all the money and have at least a certain percentage, please pay the same again. Please visit the handbook. You are actually, the instructions on what you need to do if you do not have the full fees is actually provided. The information has been shared with you through the chat, including even which page. For those of you who are very lazy, they don't want to read the whole handbook. At least the page, the specific page has been sent to you. So please again run through the chat and pick out the information, check, and then make your payment. Now, the, there is also um, a question about when to do unit registration. Again, please, uh, you, those of you who have actually succeeded in doing it, it's okay. But those of you who are having challenges, please attend tomorrow's session. You will actually be taken through what you need to do and how to uh, register for your units. But then again, as we said, if you have any specific challenge, write, send your email so that your issue can be looked at. And the team that will be taking you through the training tomorrow will make sure that they respond specifically to an issue or issues that are affecting individual students. Some of you are still asking, they are having difficulties in reading the timetable. Again, this again will be, you'll be taken through the same tomorrow during the uh, induction. Please remember that the timetable that you've been given is very detailed. It includes the rooms that you are supposed to come and use when you join the university for the face-to-face -face session of your course. So it doesn't mean that you start looking for that room wherever you are now, because you will not find it. But when you come to the university, we will help you to find the room. For now, the room is where you have actually found yourself a comfortable space to set up your computer uh, so that you can actually continue learning. Otherwise, um, I want to thank you all for being part of this uh, process. And we look forward, once again, to continue interacting with you and to continue responding to your issues, to continue uh, exchanging communication we will continue following up to see how you are getting on with your classes because you are now our responsibility for the next four years thank you and god bless you my name is professor friend kinjoka i'm the dean of student affairs and I'll take this opportunity to give a vote of thanks. We'll start by thanking the Almighty God for the gift of life this morning. We thank Him for this good day He has given unto us. We thank God for the opportunity He has given to us to be part of the University of Embu Fraternity. We thank the University Management 
for facilitating and also approving this session. We also thank all staff and students who have actively participated in the orientation program. We appreciate you students for making the University of Embu your university of choice. We assure you, you have not made a mistake. And we believe that in the next four years, you are going to like it. For most of you, you even proceed for six more years. We thank you for your sacrifices in a time, in a giving your battles for the sessions to continue. We thank all the facilitators who have taken us through the sessions, both internal and external facilitators. By now, we know you know your university better, and this university is going to be a home for the next four years. So you are welcome as we learn online, even as, we con as the face-to-face -face session comes. We hope God is going to keep us well. We appreciate the ICT team who have been very, very keen in connecting both the facilitators and you students. May God bless them. We pray that God is going to keep each one of us well until we meet again. Congratulations and welcome to the University of Embu where knowledge transforms. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dean of Students, for the vote of thanks. We are now coming to the end of the matriculation ceremony. Uh, I would like to highlight some of the comments that you have made. Asan Boru, you say congrats, VC, on and, and, uh, highlighting challenges that we may encounter. This is the point to take in order to cope with virtual education. Asan Boru, thank you for that comment. Uh, another person says, uh, Godwin Kamwara, you are there. He says that uh, happy sana leo nimepigiwa makofi na ma professor. I think uh, <laughs> you, you deserved it and uh, you worked hard and this is your time. Mm -hmm. Then Cyprian Wafula, of course you said uh, thank you for your warm welcome. And Collins Ombega uh, was asking when will I choose the subject combinations for B.Ed. I think that information will be coming to you shortly. The last one is Masi Kanana. Masi Kanana is asking whether there is a student app that they can download from Android on the phone and uh, use for the student portal. The answer is yes, and you are going to get a message on our chat there on how you can download the, the app on your phone so that you are able to, to, to follow the portal right from your phone. At this point, I would like to welcome uh, Reverend Dr. Mary Curry, who is the coordinator of the chaplaincy services, to end with a word of prayer so that we conclude this ceremony as per the schedule that we had planned. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. Uh, we'll still be following our, our virtual orientation program our next session is uh, our next session is uh, tomorrow tomorrow at 10 a.m. tomorrow at 10 a.m. 9 a.m. sorry please uh, be there let us uh, continue with this uh, uh, learning before we go to the actual uh, teaching and learning reverend dr mary Before we pray, we know that we might be faced with some challenges that may require spiritual intervention. If that happens, you can contact Father Joseph Keremi on phone number 0710222. 3737 or Reverend Dr. Mary Nkari, Coordinator Chaplaincy Services on 
404-837-404-837-404-837-404-837-404-837-404-837-404-837-404-837-404-837-404-837-404-837-404-837-404-837-404-837-404-837-404-837-404-837-404-837-404-837-404-837-404-837-404-837-404-837-404-837-404-837-